Okay, good morning and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial in Design Spark Mechanical. I'm going to be showing you how to draw a basic drawing uh, from a two dimensional sketch. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open up Design Spark. I'm going to see what the drawing is done in. It looks like millimeters, so. We'll go ahead and um, open up Design Spark. We'll go to File, we'll create new. We'll create a new design. Then we're gonna make sure that it's in millimeters. And to do that, we go to File. We go down here to Design Spark Options. We're gonna navigate on this left panel here to Units. And we're gonna make sure that it's in metric millimeters. So we'll say, okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and click that eye and change the plan view. I'm going to minimize up here. Move this over. Oops. Minimize. Open up our basic drawings. I'm going to drag this in. Then we'll full size. Let's go ahead and minimize. I'm going to move this down to the red and the green arrow, so it's in the center. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and control plus, control plus, grab our pan tool up here, and we'll just kind of move this up a little bit. And then we'll... Alright, I don't know if this drawing is full size or not, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh... We're going to go ahead and check. So to do that, Grab your circle tool. Okay, this is way off. This is supposed to be uh, 32. So, actually, let me check. Let me check with this line right here. So, we're going to go draw a line from here to here. This line should be 42. So, we'll go ahead and type in 42. Yeah, that's quite a bit off. So we'll go ahead and select our select tool. And then we'll just go ahead and scale this up. Now you don't have to draw stuff this way. I find that it's easier because you don't have to keep going back and forth, especially if you have a complicated drawing. You don't have to keep going back and forth uh, to figure out what what is what dimensions are on which parts. You just go ahead and um, you just have it right there, and then you know right away if you've done something incorrectly because you know if you don't put the right dimension on the circle, it's gonna um, you're gonna figure it out because it's gonna show. Um, Control minus, zoom out, go ahead and drag this to the center there. Okay, now we'll control plus, control plus. I'll go ahead and start drawing our drawing. All right, so first we want to draw the circles. So we'll go ahead and get our uh, circle tool. We want this to be 32. I'm going to drag another circle out. We want that to be 56. I guess this is 56. Let me pan down a little bit to check. Yeah, it's 56. Okay, now we're going to draw what we could do is we could draw, since we're duplicating every this, everything on the other side, we're going to go ahead and click with the line tool. We'll just draw a straight line down and then select the click off. I'll click on that line, right mouse click button, and go up to the very top here and set as mirror. So whatever we draw over here is going to be replicated over there. So we'll go ahead and get this circle here. We'll 
drag out to 12. Okay, and then we want this to be, we'll get another circle in there. Want it to be 28. So we'll type in 28. Whenever you see a radius sign like this, and it says 14, for those of you that are new to drafting, that basically means you have to double that. So that means the radius is 28. If it has a little hole like this, that means that 32 is the size of the diameter. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get this tangent line. Come from here up to here. Now we're going to right mouse click. Actually select the click off. We're going to grab that tangent tool again. Okay, now we're going to go control minus. I'm going to just kind of move this out of the way. Let's click on that mirror line. Let's get rid of it. Let's control plus to zoom in. Make sure everything looks good. Now we're going to get our trim away tool, which is right here, or it's a shortcut T on the uh, on your uh, keep it, keypad. Okay, we don't want to delete any of the inside because we're going to have to extrude that up. Okay, so this base we know is 16. So we're going to go ahead and pull this. Let's go to the spin tool. I like to spin the drawing so you can see when you when you do pull the stuff. Now we'll go to pull. We're going to pull down. 16. Okay, now this top part here is 40 from the bottom to the top. So that would be uh, 40, it's 30, it's 24 from the, to the top, from the top. So we'll go ahead and pull this out 24. And now we have to spin around to the bottom and we'll have to pull that the 16. So let's go ahead and select that, type 16. Now you've got your part. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the ISO view. So it doesn't look like there's any kind of chamfering or anything. Wait, it says fillets and rounds are five. Um, so we're going to assume that these fillets are here on the edges here. So we'll go ahead and pull. And then we're going to go ahead and um, click to get all that. I'll click and drag. Okay, that's going to be uh, two and a half. We can type that in 2.5. Okay, now we'll do the same over here. 2.5. Get our uh, spin tool. I don't see anything else other than these right here are uh, five. Fillets and rounds are five, so we'll go ahead and click that. Go to pull, we'll get this one around the corner, hold down the control key. Let's pull that out to, let's type it in, 2.5. Okay, that looks like that's it. The only other thing I want to do is probably put a, uh, um, a chamfer in on these, even though it doesn't call it out. We'll add one in there anyways, so we'll go ahead and click both of those. Actually, let's go pull. And the chamfer is not lit up for me. 
cool. Kind of odd. Okay. We'll go ahead and get rid of our drawing. I don't need that anymore. We're going to come up here to the top view. It's going to be our finished part. Let's go to ISO. Let's try one more time with the pool. We'll get rid of those. That's probably why. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the chamfer. Let's put a 2.5 chamfer in there. Well, that's big. Let's back off. Let's just say 1.5. Okay, the reason why we're having a problem is because there's an actual piece in there. You have to get rid of that because it doesn't know whether, you, whether you're supposed to be chamfering that or pulling it or what. So we'll go ahead and go chamfer, put type in 1.5. And just to spice things up, we could put a chamfer on here too. Chamfer 1.5, and let's put one on this edge too. 1.5. Okay. That's going to end today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching and got something useful out of the video. And thanks again for watching.